what? Latinos, the only ones who are undocumented in this country. The first time it came out was uh, a month ago, which was the first video. And so we put out a blog and we asked people to call his office. We called the office, but they didn't respond. And then I didn't know that the second one came out until people started calling us and saying there's a second one. And the second one was this one with the limousine. And so Darlene Patan um, spoke out against it two weeks ago. She got a lot of flack, but people were still angry about it. So they started asking us to do something. Um, and someone called me and said, you know, you guys need to organize a press event and say something. So we did. They see, they see people that look Latino, look what they understand to be Latino. It's very stereotypical. Um, they're used to seeing the, the, the workers in their work clothes, um, you know, looking like they're either looking for work or just got off of work. And they don't understand that, one, immigrants come from all over the world, and two, Latinos look like a lot of other people as well. So they don't understand how just using one image to portray all of us is wrong. I hope that this event mobilizes them to speak out because they're very shy. They don't like to rock the boat. They don't call the senator. They don't say, even ones Latino Republicans who voted for him, they won't even call him. So hopefully from this, they'll get a little more energized to call him. There are many forms of discrimination not always depicted through physical violence. Many times what you will see in terms of employment, prejudice, payment of wages to and this type of depiction actually contributes, we believe, to that type of discrimination. This ad applies not just to undocumented. It applies to Hispanic populations who have helped build this community. And if you understand anything about the fundamental culture of New Orleans and its origins, you do understand where many of the sources and roots of that lie. Yes, there is damage that it's done to a lot of people. And it continues even without this ad, and we certainly don't need this to, to uh, extend the stereotype that certainly is warranted. The, the ad was targeted to you know, immigrants, and as a son of an immigrant, uh, I was very um, offended by the, the ad. And you know, for us to come together, uh, it, it, it's uh, you know we come together as, as power. We don't have we might not have money to uh, go do a counter ad, but I know we can come together as people uh, to address this issue. I believe that there 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 are folks who are really um, getting outraged, but they don't have like they don't have the uh, avenue how to to, to express it. So this was actually one of the ways of doing that. But I'm pretty sure if we have like community forums in like the community themselves. I'm pretty sure young uh, people would, would come out and, and speak out about this issue. Obviously, we want him to apologize publicly. We want him to pull all of the ads from uh, all media. Uh, talking about social media, internet, television, radio, whatnot. And, um, and yeah, I, we, we want that to happen. And, if, and, and hopefully that we could have this type of dialogue, uh, this uh, racial uh, healing dialogue. Uh, amongst the, this, uh, the city of New Orleans and the state of Louisiana.